All righty, we're going to cut a piece of MC cable to wire inside the breaker box. We're going to put a multi-wire branch circuit in to go to two outlets. And we're going to have both outlets on opposite legs of the 240. So we're going to use this uh, fitting here. It has the built-in bushing on it. So we'll take our hacksaw. I'm going to make sure we have another wire going inside the box. Take our saw, we'll cut carefully so we don't cut into the wires underneath. So, bend it back and forth a little bit. There we go, it comes off like that. That's long enough to go. It is going to be long enough. So next we'll take our side cutters. We're just going to cut off this sharp edge here so we don't cut a puncture the wire. So now we can take our uh, clamp here. We should take our plastic sheathing off. Here in the country of this morning, we use for commercial wiring, we use 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. For branch circuits, for lights and outlets, black is live, red is live, and blue is live, and the green wire is the ground. So we'll stick our wires into our bushing here, the clamp. And then we will take, and we'll just, you'll hear the little barbs snap inside, so just push it, you can hear them, you, you can hear them snap inside there. So now we're ready to install this into the box. Push it in. You'll hear the two little tabs snap in. There we go, the two little tabs are snapped in. So we have uh, our red, which is one circuit. Black is the second circuit. We get them all untwisted here. Here's our red, which is alive. Our white, which is neutral. The white is neutral. Here in the country I was born in for commercial wiring, most generally we use 12 American wire gauge. We put it on a 20 amp circuit. Black, red, and blue are live, and white is neutral. White and gray are the only two colors allowed to use for a neutral. Okay, so we'll keep our grounds in neutral separate since this is a sub panel. So we're going to take our ground wire and we'll run it over here to our ground wire, so we're going to get behind 
I didn't wire all this down here. Somebody else put this in, but you will see how much new I can mine compared to what was here done by the other electrician. Okay, so we're going to get our wire up across the top. Okay, we'll bring it across the top. We'll end it up. We'll come down and we'll come over and we'll strip it right here. Make sure we don't get our insulation caught under there. Make sure our copper is through the terminal all the way. Make sure that is all nice and straight here on the cost. Okay, now we'll put our uh, white wire over here on the neutral bar. We'll go to this one right here. So we'll take our white wire, we'll just push it over to the edge here. That and down. I'll get our red and black stuff out of the way here. I make my bend to come over to the neutral bar. through the hole all the way and our insulation is not caught. Okay, so there's a white light on the neutral bar. And when you do the multi-wire branch circuit, you have to make sure that you put match your wire with number 12 to 20 amps, which we did here. Make sure it's in the off position. Here. Okay, so it doesn't, you know, every, every other one of these is a different lag of the 240. And since we're sharing the neutral, both circuits have to be uh, on opposite legs of the 240, so you don't overload your neutral. So it doesn't lag. Over to the corner, bring it down straight. We'll find our breaker. We'll come up to our breaker right here. So, how are you doing? It was nice to see your mom come over. It was nice to see your mom come over. Strip a little long so we can cut a little bit off. Now we bring our red wire pushed up in the corner here, bring it down, and we'll bend it over right here, and we'll cut it right here. 
Is it getting hotter out, do you think? I hear it's going to be well over 90 tomorrow. Yes, I heard too. Put our wire under the pressure plate, make sure we don't have too much copper showing above it. We're down all the way. these off. Now we're next we're going to hook our uh, double gang outlet box up and we'll screw that on the wall.